So throughout the show, we're going to have clips from some of the people we met at the, this year's Podcast Expo. And if you navigate to our website, there's a link to Two Smart Guys Friends Podcasts. And from here, you can subscribe to the feeds for any of these videos, video podcasts, audio podcasts, just by clicking on the link, and it'll automatically add them to the RSS reader. Hey guys, this is Edgar from the NerdBlurb.com podcast and the DS Live podcast, and you're watching PSP Hacking 101. I'm Fox. I'm Raggable. And this is PSP Hacking 101, episode 21. 21, yes. The custom firmware emulation media blitz episode. <laughs> Don't put that in the, <laughs> Don't put that in the RSS feed. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be covering um, a, a, a few things. But yes. first off, uh, updating our what PSP to buy a little yes. bit. Uh, uh, Sony doesn't like the fact that we could have fun with their PSPs. so. They change it every so often. Yeah, so... You need to look for these little numbers on the box when you're buying a PSP. Uh, to start with, K is 2.7, L is 2.71, M is 2.8, and END is the spawn of Satan avoided at all costs. Yes, so don't buy anything above N. No. Uh, M, you can do stuff with. Everything below that, good to go. Yeah. Um, so what does this mean, all these different firmwares? Well, different firmwares can do different things. Um, Example? Example. Uh, 1.5 is kind of the, the ultimate firmware the and golden. the golden firmware. And 2.71 is also a very nice firmware that can do just about everything yes, now. Yes, you can now downgrade from 2.71 and then you can also reflash to a custom firmware. Uh, 2.8 you can run user mode through eLoader. So you can do like SNES 9X emulator. And emulation, uh, some homebrew games and apps. You can't do backups of like UMDs and stuff no. like that. Um, so nothing that requires kernel mode access. Right. And then 2.81 and above, you guys are just, well. You're screwed. You're screwed. Yeah, you should Sorry. have never updated. <laughs> well, what about the poor bastards that got one with 2.81? You didn't. What about somebody gave their friend one? Here, have a PSP. And then they, it's 2.81. Go back you, to your friend and you, smack him. Kick his ass. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then uh, besides the, the different firmwares, there's also different motherboard versions for PSPs because as well. it wasn't confusing enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just gets better and better. And these are uh, a little bit less fun to check, but uh, right off the bat, you, know, you can look and see if there's lettering inside the UMD case. That means you have an 82 version. Uh, different numbers mean different things. But uh, 82 people have now have hopes because they can now downgrade. Yes, and that's going to be in our next episode. Yes, before they were stuck with whatever yes. they had. And then now there's also 86. And, the and those, 80, those 86, people have been 86. Yeah, for right now. There, maybe there's hope in the future. Yeah, but, we'll see. We'll keep you guys posted, updated, whatever. Yeah. As always, we recommend going to a pawn shop or something, getting them used somewhere where you can actually look and see what firmware they have, open it up, see what motherboard it has. eBay. Uh, eBay. eBay will say, as long as they get a good seller rating. <laughs> uh, our forms, people are always oh, getting rid of them, too. That's somewhere to check. <laughs> Uh, besides that, we also have some segments to cover here. Uh, first off, uh, the new DevHook 0.52, which has 3.03 emulation. And uh, we've covered DevHook before, and this one's given us, for the first time, the same firmware that is the newest firmware that's out right now. So you can emulate the newest firmware. The absolute newest firmware without actually having to upgrade to that firmware. God forbid. Yeah. And uh, then also, we're doing the custom firmware, the 3.02. 0.02 from Dark Alex. Um, 3.02 what? OE-B. There you go. And it gives you some awesome capabilities like the ability to run PS1 games. And not just the ones you get from the PS3 that you buy, but your own ones that you back up. And we're going to be showing you that also on episode 22. 22. Not now, so. Today we're showing you how to get the firmware. Next episode we're showing you how to do the... PS1 emulation. Yes, so if you're and too ripping. much of a pussy to flash with a custom <laughs> firmware, there's always dev hook for you. Yeah. Pox, the only reason he does that is because he has the mod chip. Oh, yeah. I got the mod chip so we can, we can play with these custom firmwares all we want. <laughs> I don't, so I stick with dev hook. I'm a pussy. <laughs> all right, so on with the dev hook. Yes. A Libra! Yeah! PSP Hacking 101. Dev hook, 0.52. Emulate 3.03. Steps you need to follow in order to do this. 
Uh, first off, go ahead and hook up your PSP to your PC with the USB cable. And then go ahead and open up the uh, PSAR dumper program zip file and extract that to your PSP slash game folder. Next, go ahead and open up the 3.03 eBoot update within PSP Brew. And then after that, uh, extract just the data.psar by clicking on that, and then click on extra extract file. After that, it'll ask you where you want to extract it to. Extract it to the root of your memory stick. After that, go ahead and exit out of USB mode on your PSP. Go ahead and launch PSAR dumper. When prompted, press X, and then wait for the program to finish executing and extracting and writing to your memory stick and displaying a whole bunch of text. And then after that, it should uh, reboot automatically. Then <clears throat> go ahead and enable USB again. Open up the devhook.52 compressed file and extract the MS root folder to the, your PSP, the, uh, the root of it, obviously. And then you can go ahead and delete the data.psar from your 3.03 eBoot at this time because you don't need that anymore and it's 15 megs and it's, you don't need it out of there. And then after that, on the root of the memory stick, you should see the F0 folder that the PSAR dumper actually created. Go ahead and move that into the DH slash 303 folder and overwrite the F0 folder in there. After that, you can go ahead and exit out of USB mode again, launch devhook, scroll to flash install, and press circle. If you've already installed a 3.02 or a 3.01 or a 3.0 firmware before, go ahead and remove that from flash one by pushing circle. Then after that, go ahead and push, push circle on install config file to flash zero. Uh, screen will come up and you have to accept the terms hold circle for a little bit, and then it should be completed. Uh, then after that, you can go ahead and scroll to firmware. Make sure you press circle again, and make sure that 3.03 .03 is selected. And then after that, you can go ahead and uh, boot up into 3.03 .03 with your uh, dev hook, if all goes well, that is. And uh, this is running run a 1.5 PSP, right? Yes. If but, you're a pussy like me and you didn't flash your custom firmware. And if you're running a 2.71 uh, SE, you can... It's basically the same thing, but there's a couple different directories and things. Yeah, there is, there is different steps that you take if you have a custom firmware, but I'm going to assume that you don't. <laughs> <laughs> because you can, like you said, upgrade to the latest 3.0 do custom firmware. And yeah, so now, now now you got the dev hook running, you can run the latest games that require the latest firmware, which don't exist yet. And you can run uh ISOs. I didn't say anything. And uh you can use the RSS reader. Woohoo! <laughs> the web browser, the um you can stream audio and the the video, you can save and yada yada yada. It's all there. Yeah, so have fun with your new um 3.03. 3.02? Yes. Hey, it's Gene from Hometown Tales, and you're watching PSP Hacking 101. Ah! I'm acting like Brother Love a little. <laughs> hey, everyone. This is Brian Yonke, and you are watching PSP Hacking 101. Today, we're going to be flashing a custom firmware 3.02 OE B. OE B. OE B. It's no longer SE because there was too many people faking the, the releases of SE that weren't really Dark Alex. These people are f Yes, so the real one's from Dark Alex, and it's now... OE-B. OE-B is the latest one. Yes. But you first have to start out with dash A, because B is just an update to A. Anyway, so let's get started. Um, you need to make a data.dxar file, and that file is the, fir the custom firmware that you're going to be flashing. So in order to generate that, you need to install some homebrew on your PSP. Uh, this program is all, all part of the, the file that you download for the custom firmware flasher. It's called uh, OEUPD Maker. <laughs> so copy that into your PSP game directory. Or if you have a 2.71 SE firmware, 
put it in the um, game 150 or whatever you've designated to run 1.5 homebrew. So you throw those in there. Uh, then you're also going to have to go and get the Sony updates for 1.50 and also 3.02. So you're going to take those eBoots and rename them respectively to uh, 150.pbp and 302.pbp and place them in that, that same directory without the percentage mark. And I keep looking over here, because Raggable is there. I swear, I swear to you, he's, he's there. I'm a ghost. <laughs> all right, so after you get it all in there, you need to run the, the OEUPD maker on the PSP. This program will generate the data.dxar file, and it'll be in that same directory without the percentage. <clears throat> the program also verifies the hash, makes sure everything's all good. Um, after you've done that, you can go ahead and save that data.dxar file um, so you can skip it in the future if you ever want to reflash your, your PSP because this is the guts. Next, you got to flash it. So in order to flash it, you got to run another little piece of homebrew. This is the OE flasher. Uh, so copy over the OE flasher and OE flasher percentage to the PSP games, or if you're you know, 2.71, game 150, wherever you're running your 1.5 homebrew from. Um, also copy over the data.dxar file, put that also in, in the directory without the percentage. Okay, then run the flasher. Um, if your battery is less than 75%, it'll give you a warning. Uh, uh, if you're feeling lucky, you could press L and bypass it and end up with a bricked PSP. Uh, otherwise, it'll continue on with an agreement if you got enough battery, and just press X to accept selling your soul to Dark Alex, and then it'll start the flash process. Do not shut down the PSP. Do not remove the memory stick while this is going on. Leave it on the table. Don't let any cats near it or anything. <laughs> and uh, when it's done, then it'll, it'll say it's completed. You can shut off your PSP, turn it back on, and it'll boot up with the 3.02 OE-A. So you're all set there, except running the uh, PS1 uh, ISOs. And actually, they're not ISOs. They're backups. We'll get into that in the next episode. Uh, but you need to update to OE-B. And that's just a simple update. You just download it, throw it into your PSP game 150 directory, and run it and it'll update you, and you'll be all set. Now we can play Final Fantasy VII! Yeah! <laughs> oh, and um, you'll have all the cool media capabilities, too. Hey, this is Robert Welkner of CoinOp TV, and you are watching PSP Hacking 101. At this point in time, you should either have uh, emulation with Devhook running, or a custom firmware going for the 3.0 or 3.x world. Yes, so you'll have access to all the sparkling media capabilities of your PSP. So if, you, if you've noticed throughout the show, I've been sprinkling little uh, ads from other various podcasters. <laughs> you can now subscribe to those podcasts through your PSP. Uh, we'll have a, a list of them on our website in the show notes. So, so you just open up our, the, our homepage in the web browser on the PSP. And and just go to the show you want. And it'll, add, it'll say it's an RSS feed. Do you want to subscribe to it? You know, and yes. And there's obviously ours that you should subscribe to. Yeah, subscribe to, to ours. Um, the audio now works for the commute cast, which is awesome. Uh, the video you have to download, but it plays back right off the PSP, which is, which is pretty nice. I'd still prefer streaming. Streaming would be nice, but maybe later. If you want to do streaming, get Pimp Streamer. Yes. yes. Um, yeah. Sony doesn't do it right. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, as always. Buy the DVDs. Buy oh, the, Volume Five's out. Volume Five is going to be out. It's going to. Oh, have, going to be out. It's going to be out. It's going to have this episode and the next episode on it, so it'll be a complete set of. Okay, so Volume complete. Five will soon be out. And it'll have all the episodes from 19 through 22. Yes. And it'll have audio commentary. It'll. 
You did one of them already. Don't get There's all upset about it. There's more to go, though. You'll have extras. You'll like, have extras, deleted scene blooper gag reel type thing going on. Watch us make fun of ourselves and screw up. Yeah. Um, um, all the public service announcements, announcements and skits. Yeah. Uh, uh, the HD version of it, um, there's going to be, so you can use that file and play them back on your 360 now, which is pretty handy. Let's see uh, the full 720p versions of the show. Anything else? Uh, oh, the forums, as always. Uh, they're running rampant. Um, yeah. We now have forums for uh, all of our shows a little bit separated out. Yeah, PSP Hacking 101, We Hacking 101, which our production. We Hacking 101. We have another show out now. Uh, we haven't stopped PSP Hacking 101. We just added another show, We Hacking 101. Yes. And speaking of which, uh, we're, if you have t G4 Tech TV, D Tech TV in Canada, we're going to be on a show torrent uh, in January, January 6th. January 6th. So keep an eye out for that. I don't know what time it airs, though. Or like... I, I don't know. <laughs> so if you're in Canada and you get to see the show and you can record it, send it to us because otherwise <laughs> we have to wait a month before we can see it. <laughs> and we're on it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're just going to show an episode. So. Yes, they're going to show the uh, Wii Sensor Bar yeah, episode. Yeah, how to make a Wii Sensor Bar. And it's full. Entirety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so stay tuned. Uh, we'll be kicking out the next episode in less than two months. <laughs> It'll be quicker now that he's got me modeled. Yes. <laughs> We're out. Later. In the can. <clears throat> oh, wow. This is Ben Williams from The Nursery. I'm promoting The Nursery. At least today I am. And um, it's the nursery.tv. It's animation. It's cool. It's political satire. It's social satire. It's all these people set fire. It's amazing and fun and energetic. And it's got all types of sci-fi and, and entertaining qualities that I think a lot of young people are going to like. And, you know, it's kind of cool. It's got three different media parts to it. It's got the Presidents of the Future, and it's got uh, pre Predators of the Sprawl, and it's also got a new one coming out called The 14th Dimension. So be on the lookout for that. This is Colt. He's the newest addition to the Smart Guys family. He's also the reason that we've been a little distracted and haven't gotten out so many of the shows lately. Um, he's got hiccups. <laughs> um, we finally got a chance to go through all of our footage from the podcast expo. And, you know, the clips that we've got from friends there. And anybody that we did see there who's watching this, this is the result of my big belly. <laughs> So, anyway, this is our little guy, and this has been a Two Smart Guys production. Hey, hi, I am Cree. I am the co-host for Beneath the Beat Hip Hop. You guys should check it out because we explore underground hip hop culture in New York City, and um, I'm your co-host, <laughs> so you should check it out.